Hello everybody, Penny Stock Whispers here doing a stock chart video analysis of PFMS, the Paper Free Medical Solutions Incorporated. Our last trading day was Tuesday, May 13th. We saw a previous close of 0003 and we closed up last at 0007. That's an increase of 133.33% on a volume of 24,699,352 shares. PFMS had a great day today. As you can see, it's up 133.33% on some volume that we haven't seen since February. Uh, it got me pretty excited here. We have uh, consolidated in the past, and I think we found our strong support here, and we're ready to make another leg up. PFMS, all the indicators are looking very bullish right now, and I think we can see some more 133% uh, days or more. Uh, the future's looking really bright for this company, so I want to go through these stock charts uh, with you, kind of just touch on some of the indicators and let you know what's going on. Uh, the 14 day RSI is first on our list here, it's at 61.94, this is a fantastic place to be, we're dead center between the 70 and the 50, and we're still showing a lot of strength here moving up, uh, this is a very good sign here, this is the, uh, what's known as the buy region, so trading between the 70 and 50 is a great place to be, even crossing over the 70 like we did back in February is not too bad, as you can see the price movement uh, is pretty significant when we cross over that and get into that bullish zone, so Keep your eyes on the 14-day RSI. I'm pretty excited about that one. Moving on down here to the daily charts, you can see that we found our support right here at 0003. We finally uh, built up enough power on this and pushed through it, not only crossing above our 13-day uh, or 26-day EMA, this green line right here. We also closed above our 50-day moving average, which is a big deal. As you can see also, uh, the uh, red line here, this is our 200-day moving average, is slowly creeping its way up towards that 50-day moving average, which has started to level out since the decline in the uh, middle of February. So, uh, impending, we have a you know golden cross crossover coming in the next couple weeks, maybe even uh, you know a month or two down the road. But that's always something you want to keep your eye on, looking long term on this stock. It's looking pretty good. Um, everything's looking great here. As you can see, we're probably hitting at a little bit of a resistance right here. It's not too strong. I think we can break through this no problem. Moving on past that, though, volume, like I said at the beginning, just fantastic day to day. There's a lot of interest on this, uh, this stock. You can see it's been kind of slow for the last couple months, and it's built up here. So this is all accumulation as well. When we get down to the accumulation chart, you'll be able to see that. Pretty excited about that one as well, but that's, that's down the road. So uh, let's take a look at our... MACD line here, you can see that it is finally also looking very bullish as well. Uh, it tanked pretty hard there in February. We got all the way down underneath our, our zero line, and uh, we finally just crossed over not too long ago. Right when we hit our bottom, you can see that those correlated really well where we crossed over our signal line and found our support right there. Now, that's something you want to keep your eye on for future trades as well, and you can see that we are moving up nice and sharp towards that zero line, showing some more strength in the MACD. This has only just begun, and I want you guys to keep your eyes on it. Furthermore, tricks line here, the... Uh, 15-day tricks is one of my favorite indicators as well, and we are poised to cross over that in any second now. Now, the tricks indicator is a trailing indicator. I would imagine we've already crossed that signal line. We won't know until tomorrow when the market's open, uh, or tomorrow when the market's closed, rather, and um, I think we're going to see that happen. Uh, the longer term, though, the 30-day tricks that I have up here is starting to uh, slow down its decline as well. I'd like to see this make a crossover in the next couple weeks, as uh, furthermore. Uh, moving on down to our slow stochastics, also looking bullish. We crossed over our uh, bottom line now. We're at 33.33 currently, and the signal line is in uh, in pursuit. CCI looking good as well. We're very uh, bullish right now at 233.77, far above that 100 line in the bullish buy region. Uh, down here on the stochastic RSI, also looking great now. The stochastic RSI is very volatile. It moves up and down really fast, as you can see. So what we want to keep our eyes on is this 14-day moving average, which is just about to cross over that 0.5 line and cross into that buy region. And uh, that's a really big sign for us as well. Now the track and money flow is looking very good. We were in decline as well on this one. So to see this recover so quickly and so sharply and cross above that zero line is a great thing for the stock. The 14-day ADX is looking pretty good as well. It's not quite relevant yet because the ADX line itself is only 20.06. But the positive and negative DI are diverging pretty sharply right here, showing that we are signaling uh, right into an uptrend here. So uh, keep your eyes on this. Hopefully that ADX line will... Uh, Repair itself here pretty shortly. We should see that uh, become more relevant as time goes on. PVO looking great as well. Signal line crossover and the zero line crossover at the same time. Sitting at 27.368. We're going to keep our eyes on this one as well. Uh, money flow index also looking good. Just crossed above the 80 very quickly there. It's 87.52. We're going to close up this analysis with the accumulation distribution chart, which is showing some great strength right here. Suddenly renewed. Everyone's all excited about this again. I do want to point out as well a very significant thing when we saw that massive crash back in February, you can see that it affected all of our charts very harshly, pushed them all the way down, and um, that's pretty upsetting. However, it didn't do that to the accumulation distribution chart. Now, that means that a lot of investors have been holding for a while, and they want to see some big gains on this, and I'm pretty excited about that. So, uh, all these new uh, shareholders are also going to help push the strength up as well. I think we found a new uh, support, and we're going to continue moving upwards as the days and weeks go on. So, 
thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to take a look at them. If you're on the go, I recommend you download our Android mobile app. It's Penny Stock Whispers as well. You can download that and uh, get all this stuff on the go, stock chart videos, more information about the company. And for your home computer, just sign up at PennyStockWhispers.com, and uh, we'll get you some more information on this stock and many others. Once again, thank you guys for watching. Best of luck in the markets tomorrow.